Hello, my name is Carmela Ugal and I'm the beautification coordinator here at Sullivan Renaissance. Today, my three minutes in the garden is to split a Japanese silver grass and the tools that I will use is my handy dandy shovel and my reciprocating saw. To start, you need to get, you need to dig out this monster of a plant. You need to go deep underneath the roots Once you have all of the roots separated from the earth, you can then start splitting your grass. A telltale sign to split your grass is when it's dead in the center. This plant I'm going to split into at least four possibly five or six smaller plants. This is when you take your reciprocating saw and you start cutting. We've now split it in half. Off camera, I'm gonna cut it into quarters and I'll show you what that looks like. Prior to purchasing that handy dandy tool, the reciprocating saw, I used to split my grasses with a hand saw. This is very challenging work, um, but I will share how I did part of it. We found that it was easier to lay the root mass on its side and then to cut. That was enough of using the handsaw. We will continue off camera to finish um, dividing this grass. So now I'm going to choose a grass that I'll put back in its space. Take this one. So as you notice, we're missing a lot of earth because it was such a large root mass. So I've brought some more soil. And I don't need to dig a bigger hole because the hole is big enough. The reason why I chop with my shovel is I'm getting any air pockets out. I will mulch that and set it in and that is splitting a grass. Thank you for joining me. Here's the replanted grass all ready for the season.